Sometimes having a desk to work on doesn't mean you're actually working at that desk. <clears throat> a while ago, I was working with a client who had called me in because he found that while he shared an office with his wife, they both had their separate desks and she was working in the office all the time. He always ended up going into the office, taking stuff with him, going down to the kitchen and working there. And he called me in to find out why that's the case. Now, it's an interesting one. I walked in and I felt oppressed in that space to start with because it was a relatively small space. It had a lot of stuff in it that didn't need to be there. And the main thing I found that was really startling to me was that his wife's desk was in fact a very small desk with a fold down surface that was sitting next to the window. Whereas his little desk, which was an old heavy wooden desk, was sitting in the darkest corner at the end of the room. And they were both separated by lots of stuff that they intended to sell but haven't just gotten around to do. So the first thing that I found was that obviously he didn't want to sit in the dark. But that wasn't all of it. When I looked at the desk, it also turned out to contain a lot of stuff on top of a relatively limited surface that didn't have anything to do with business. There were toys from their kids, tarot cards, lots of pens, um, crayons, essential oil bottles. There wasn't even any space to put down his laptop. And the desk itself turned out to be rather unwieldy. It's one of those old desks with narrow but very deep drawers that he could barely open, let alone find what was at the very end of the drawers. Plus, they were the kind of drawers where you put something in and it gets shuffled with everything else each time you open and close them. So the location of the desk, the desk itself and the drawers presented problems that didn't really make it easy to work in that location. And that also explains why he left so much stuff sitting on the top of his desk because he didn't like working there. So what we did was reshuffle the whole thing, make sure that all the kids' stuff leaves the office. They had a whole house for the kids' stuff, so there's no need to have it in the office. And clearing it up a little bit and giving him some pointers where to locate things in a more useful way. In terms of the desk, I simply asked him to turn it around so he faces the window rather than look away from it. Plus, I mentioned the possibility to add some mirrors, to add a bit more light and a bit more space to the whole situation. It seems to have worked. I've actually visited the place a couple of months afterwards, and he had implemented most of it. And the whole thing has led to a situation where he's actually sitting in the same office as his wife. And since they share the business, it makes perfect sense. And I hope this gives you a bit of an idea what you could do to your office space. Stay clutter aware and come back for more. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.